Have you ever been sitting in your bed writing your dissertation or the next great American novel or simply eating food or Netflixing and look down at the tray or your food or your computer sits and go, this is a flimsy piece of blah blah and I don't have a good tray. Well, you've come to the right place. We make awesome trays. Are you ready to see them? Let's do this. All right, so I'm going to make two tables out of this. There's the line. See where the lines are. It's going to be about 60 centimeters by about 40 centimeters. Uh, so this is what we're going to do it out of. Uh, so I think I'm going to pour these first two tables at the same exact time and uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> my mold should be good, but I, the, the most level place, I, you need a level place when you pour something, especially something this big. You want it as absolute level as you can get it. One of the tips I learned online on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this on the floor. Um, it's the most level uh, flat surface I have. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll pour it. It's going to have to sit for two or three days at the very least. Hopefully not much longer than that. But uh, so we're going to get the, the, the resin mixed up and then we're going to get it poured and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that done. Um, by the way, this new epoxy that I got here in Thailand, um, I have, it's, it's a 10 to 3 ratio, but I have to admit I'm pretty happy with it so far. Okay, so we got the two colors uh, poured and I, I, can't, I can't tell you how happy I am with the way they come out. All right, so the first one is the copper and brown. It turned out I love the swirl. It turned out really good. And then the second one I'm really stoked about. I was trying to do kind of a camouflage pattern to go with the camouflage bean bag underneath and I think I did a really good job you tell me so I got this brown and green and this like emerald green river pour and it just looks really good I'm really happy with it I don't know if it'll stay like this or if it'll change colors but I love the color so far I'm hoping it doesn't change too much because it's perfect so I think all we have to do is just wait for a couple days and see what this turns out to look like. Um, I love the colors right now, but we'll see, okay? All right, hello. Uh, today what we're gonna be doing is cutting material. And like I told you before, I I'm not very good at it. I'm, I'm not gonna do any of the sewing. I have a lady that does that. But I have to cut out the patterns and I need help to do that. And today I have the lovely Mary Chris. I borrowed her from the neighbors. <laughs> 
kidding. As you can see, she's violent and unpredictable. Just what you need in an assistant. Okay, no, I'm kidding. This is my wife, Mary Chris. She's going to help me just kind of hold things steady. Uh, so first I want to do is just show you the materials I'm going to use. I'm going to do the two serving trays. And uh, for the first one, I'm going to do a green resin pour. So I thought I would do a, yeah, here, hold, help me hold it out. Um, we're going to do this camouflage material for the bean bag section of the, of how the stand. Come, how come you're better than me when it comes to cutting and designing stuff? I'm just super cool. It's in my DNA. Huh? I don't are you, know. Are you sure you're straight? Uh, as far as I know, I don't tell anybody. It's cheap, right, honey? Yeah, the material over here in Thailand, it's, it's thin, but you don't want it really thick because the thicker the material, you don't want it really heavy on your lap because you, you might sweat a little bit. So this is pretty, pretty good. I think we, I think I paid two bucks for a yard and um, like a dark uh, brown and I couldn't really find a dark brown I liked. So I got this light brown, which would l probably look okay. And uh, so basically what I need to do today is just cut the pattern out and she's going to help me hold stuff down while I Next measure. Next time, honey, because I love wearing dresses. Can uh -huh. you make me dresses? Out of resin? Like Korean style. Like if I can do it out of resin, my channel isn't fashionista. And everybody, my wife has her own channel, which is supposed to be a fashion, travel, really. food, vlog. Whatever, yeah, yeah. it's just like kind of whatever. She doesn't make anything. She's, she, just, she just goes in and goes to the mall and points at stuff and goes, this is this, is this much. And then, and then she makes me eat bugs and stuff on her channel. It's Coolest Teacher Diary. It's coolest Teacher I'll put it in the link yeah, below so you can go check diary, that out. And it's basically almost everything that I do. And some things she doesn't. Whatever. All right, so we're going to get to that. I'm going to take the camera and put it around and point on the table and we'll get to measuring and cutting. We'll do a little B-roll, a little bit of the music. And all right, so I have the pattern. I'll give you a little, here's the schematic. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, super good. I'm an engineer. All right, so. Sure. <laughs> So let me show you the pattern I got to cut out here. It's almost like if you were going to do woodworking and you were going to make a box. So these corners will fold up and then they will sew that she will sew those together. This is going to basically make a, a fabric box with a zipper for the lid. Um, and, and then what I will do is I will put bean bags in it and that will go be mounted underneath the, your lap board. So um, I, th I think it's going to work pretty well. I, I got the design. Everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. I just need to get my, uh, my local um, sewing lady to sew it up for me. It only cost me a couple bucks. She's, she's done work for me before. She sews all of our clothes. She's very good and she's very cheap, which is very good for me. Good, good. All right. All I got to do is look at do is get these two bad boys sanded down and uh, Start getting the mechanisms put on. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get this wet sanded. Um, it turned out really good, I love it. I, I don't want the lacquer that I'm using to, to soak in, I want it light. So the more you sand it down, the better you're gonna get. So I'm, I'm gonna get it sanded down with wet sand up to about 5,000, make this shiny, and then we'll get to it from there, all right? Let's go.
So all I gotta do is get the hardware and the bean bags hooked onto these things, uh, the handles and the bean bag, and uh, we got a done product. So let me get that attached right now and then I'll show you the whole thing finished up. <laughs> So are you ready to see the finished product? Let's go take a look at it, shall we? All right, so here we have number one. We have the copper color with the copper hinges and the brown bean bag. You can see the bag underneath Con connected. Got copper hinges on it. The color, the color turned out spectacular. Love the color on it. The number two, I went with the, I tried to do a camouflage kind of type pour with the resin, uh, with the camouflage bag underneath. You can see, connect. All right, so I hope you had fun with this video. I hope you liked the project. Please, I mean, give it a try. Mix up some different colors, different handles. Um, the trays work really well. I like them. I'm keeping one of them for myself uh, because I sit in bed and, and edit videos a lot, so um, it does come in handy for me. Give it a try. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell button. You guys have been around YouTube long enough to know how this works. Next time, I'm making a chess set. Well chess slash checkers because I don't know how to play chess, but I'm going to make a nice one. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.